Good afternoon, and the sources say the U.S. is planning for a major arms sale to Taiwan, a move that is certain to anger China. Now, Taiwan's status as an independent country is a hot-button political issue in China, which officially does not recognize its independence. But according to the Pentagon and the State Department, the breakaway island that calls itself the Republic of China is in the final stages awaiting for final approval of a major arms deal. Now, RT Sarah Montes de Oka joins me with this de the details. Sarah, this is not a small deal. That's right, Scotty. The informal request is being processed, and we're talking about a major arms deal, uh, but it is uh, one of the largest. The potential purchase includes the first time sale of 108 General Dynamic Corp M1A2 Abram tanks. Now, these are worth approximately $2 billion, along with anti aircraft munitions. According to sources, a formal request was sent to Congress but is still waiting approval. According to reports, Taiwan is also interested in buying an additional 66 F-16 fighter jets, and that's not part of this deal. But this didn't go without a response from China's foreign ministry. China firmly opposes the U.S. arms sales to Taiwan. This position has been consistent and clear. We urge the U.S. to fully understand the high sensitivity and serious harm of its arms sales to Taiwan and to abide by the One China principle and the Three China-U.S. joint communiques, among other relevant regulations. We hope the U.S. can stop its arms sales to Taiwan and cut U.S.-Taiwan military interactions and can properly handle Taiwan-related issues with caution so as to avoid serious damage to China-U.S. relations as well as to peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. China has opposed U.S. arms sales to Taiwan since Beijing deems Taiwan is its own. And earlier this year, Chinese President Xi Jinping alluded to the use of military force to reclaim the island. The one China policy cited by the foreign ministry is a long-standing understanding that there is only one legitimate Chinese state, the People's Republic, with its capital in Beijing. Taiwan, or simply the Republic of China, was formed by Chinese leader Chiang Kai-shek after losing the Chinese Civil War in the 1940s. And the self-ruling island has obviously challenged Beijing's position. Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen has refused to accept the One China principle and said, because of the Taiwan Relations Act, the U.S. has played a crucial role to help Taiwan reject coercion. Now, under this act, the U.S. is bound by law to help Taiwan preserve its independence from mainland China, and Washington has been Taiwan's main arms supplier for years. According to the Pentagon, since 2010, the U.S. has sold more than $15 billion in weaponry to the island. Now, that same year, the Obama administration sold Taiwan an arms package with $6.4 billion, including Black Hawk helicopters, missiles, and mine hunting ships. The recent sale, worth $2 billion, will be followed by a formal and public notification to Congress, and it's likely to be approved within a 30 day review process. Scotty, the move adds even more tension between the U.S. and China over stalled trade talks in a fierce trade war, the blacklisting of Chinese tech companies like Huawei, and an escalating military buildup in the disputed waters of the South China Sea. But all this is as Trump is now threatening another $300 billion in additional tariffs. And it appears that Taiwan may now be the latest wedge issue between the two superpowers. You know, it's interesting, Sarah. We've heard of a lot of outside parties being brought into this debate between the United States and China. But Taiwan has really never come up. Is this the first time that the White House has weighed in on this issue? Well, it's definitely not as much uh, making headlines as trade or even Huawei or the South China Sea. But it's not the first time that Trump uh, has made Taiwan an issue. Uh, just a month after his uh, election in 2016, he made a call to Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen, and this was a, a public, a publicly a phone call that Taiwanese um, president, uh, according to people familiar with the president's thinking, it was a deliberate move to unsettle Beijing. But a lot of people close to the president, the National Security Advisor John Bolton and a former uh, chief strategist Steve Bannon, are on the record having uh, taken this approach and really defending Taiwan. Well, it's interesting, a lot of action going on here, and they're going to look for some answers and some deal-making at the G20 or the days that follow. Thank you so much for following us, Sarah. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.